The Apollo 11 moon landing was truly a momentous occasion in history. It was broadcast all over the world. Everyone was stunned and amazed. But what if this was all a fake? What if it was all a lie? What we see on TV can be faked. How do we know that man actually landed on the moon? Conspiracy theorists will tell you it was a complete hoax. Director Peter Hyams, while working at CBS on the broadcasts of the Apollo moon landing, came up with an idea for a film about a space mission that was a total fake. He began to think about the Apollo 11 moon landing. How do people know this event is totally real and not a complete fraud? There are no witnesses that would confirm it is real. Our only confirmation of the event is from a TV camera. It can easily be faked. I am said, I grew up in the generation where my parents basically believed it. If it was in the newspaper, it was true. So I was watching these simulations and I wondered what would happen if someone faked a whole story. Peter Hyams started to become a successful TV writer and director. He started writing the screenplay for Capricorn One in the mid 70s. Hyams got the support of his friend, producer Paul Lazarus, but they couldn't find any backing or interest in the project. However, after the Watergate political scandal, his script for Capricorn One would become a more plausible story because conspiracy movies were very popular throughout the 70s. The script for Capricorn One was about three astronauts who are on NASA's first manned mission to Mars. Just before the launch, the team of astronauts are pulled out of the rocket about to launch. The head of the program explains to them that the life support system was faulty and that NASA can't afford the publicity of the mission. NASA's plan is to fake the Mars landing and keep the astronauts hidden on a remote base until the mission is over and film scenes inside a rocket. The astronauts at first agree to it. NASA decides that the astronauts have compromised things and have to be hunted down. A journalist starts to investigate and uncovers that the mission is one big fraud. As he delves deeper and uncovers the truth, NASA starts to target him also. It took a few years, but Hyams eventually sold his script and got the movie into development after they received support from Lee Grade, who was the head of the production company ITC Entertainment. The film was given a budget of 4.8 million. The film's title, Capricorn One, is the code name for the fictional NASA mission to Mars. Hyam's friend, Paul Lazarus, had a good relationship with NASA. Technical assistance was given to the filmmakers who were able to obtain government equipment, such as props, including a prototype of the lunar module, sets and vehicles, regardless of the movie, which portrayed NASA as being the bad guys. Hyam's 1981 science fiction film, Outland, the space film starring Sean Connery, had an evil corporation called Con Amalgamate. The evil corporation in that film is also the evil corporation in Capricorn One, which supplies an unworkable life support system which forces the mission to be falsified. The fabricated fake Mars scenes seen in Capricorn One were later reused in the film productions A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon in 2001 and Conspiracy Theory Did We Land on the Moon in 2001 also. In casting the film, there were a number of high profile actors including Elliot Gould who plays the part of the main journalist Robert Caulfield who is very engaging in the role. Other actors included Hal Holbrook, Karen Black was cast as Caulfield's friend, Judy Drinkwater. Candace Bergen was originally offered the part of Judy Drinkwater, but turned it down. Other actors cast James Brolin as the lead astronaut, Colonel James Brubaker, Sam Waterston, Brenda Vagaro, and O.J. Simpson, who Peter Hyams thought was an inexperienced and average actor. The studio gave Hyams a mandate to cast O.J. Simpson as astronaut John Walker. The director's reaction was less than enthusiastic. Hyams had seen O.J. Simpson in The Towering Inferno and thought his acting ability was not the best. He thought O.J. was a celebrity of enormous stature, but somebody who had not shown the acting skills to play the part. Hyams was very impressed when O.J. did his last scene. He's a guy who's parched and delusional, so rather than him acting like somebody who was desperately thirsty, I put appliances on his face that made it difficult for him to move 
and difficult to talk and it just made him sound like he was in desperate trouble. And he was very good. Telly Savalas was cast as crop duster pilot Albane. Donald Pleasance was the original choice. In real life, Savalas was terrified to fly. The scenes with Albane were shot in a single day. One of the stunt pilots, Frank Tallman, who flew the Red Stearman plane, has claimed this film was the most dangerous film he'd ever flown on. The film's flying finale between the biplane and two helicopters was the most dangerous and complex aerial sequence ever executed for a film. The runaway car sequence where Caulfield's sabotage car goes out of control was so successful that the footage has been used in other movies and TV shows. The space rocket footage in the movie that was used was from the Saturn V Apollo. Film composer Jerry Goldsmith does a fantastic film score for Capricorn One, creating one of his best and most memorable film scores, and the music creates that suspense. The film was originally scheduled for release in the US in February of 1978, but good preview screenings and delays in Superman caused it to be moved to June. Some critics gave Capricorn One high praise, and one reviewer called the film an agreeable high concept effort which is one of Peter Hyam's most accomplished films. Others said, The script's conspiracy theory premise requires a major suspension of belief, but Hyam's makes it worthwhile for those willing to take the leap. However, one critic called the film an expensive, stylistically bankrupt suspense melodrama and said much of its screenplay is humorless comic strip stuff. Regardless of mixed reviews, Capricorn One was the most successful independently produced film at the box office that year. Audiences loved the film. Writer-director Peter Hyams was amazed how well received the film was and said, Audiences just stood up and cheered at one point in the film. It wasn't because it was a great movie. It's just that certain movies strike certain chords with people. Capricorn One is a thrilling conspiracy adventure with some truly memorable sequences. Peter Hyams is definitely one of the most underrated directors of the 20th century. In a way, Capricorn One was ahead of its time and controversial. Capricorn One, though implausible at times, does make us question if the moon landing could actually be made up. The main poster for the film was even pointing out that the Apollo 11 moon mission could have been fabricated, saying, Would you be shocked to find out that the greatest moment of our recent history may not have happened at all? TV can make us believe anything we want to believe. My name's Jonathan, thanks for watching and please subscribe.